Alright, our last few dots of blue. Going back over those little dots that I kind of missed a little bit. Alright, one more color. What's that, people? Yes, it is purple. What two colors do we have that's going to make purple? Alright, now. We're going to go ahead and start with the which color? Which one's the lighter color? Which one we start with? Ding! Got it. So let's, I guess, get ourselves a new cup. Put that in our trash like we did before. Get ourselves a new cup. And we're going to start with the lighter of the two colors the red. And notice it's not really taking a lot of paint to do this painting, is it? Not a lot at all. I still have a lot of paint left in these small containers. These are two ounce containers. Still have lots of paint left. Now, anyway, let's go ahead. We have our one drop of blue. Let's see what kind of purple we get. Let's see what kind of purple we get. Do we want to make it darker? What do you think? What do you think? You want to make that darker? Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead. Boop. Got that next drop. Let's see what we got now. This is the way to do it, guys. Like I said, it's much easier to darken a color than it is to lighten it up. So let's go ahead and see what kind of purple we get. Oh, look like we're going to need some more. Let's do it. Mm, come on, drop. Boop. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I mean, it's changing right before our eyes. It's getting darker and darker and darker with each drop. Like I said, it is your painting, so you decide when you have the right color purple. Only you can make that decision. Okay. If that's not it, Let's put a little bit more. I'm going to put two drops in it this time. Boom, boom. What? Two drops, Mr. P? No, you're not going to put two drops in there. Yeah, I did. I put two drops in there. Because I know I want it a little bit darker. Oof. Now that's turning more into what I'm looking for. But I think I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not satisfied. And since I'm the one doing the painting, boop, boop, I'm the one decide when it's enough. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. That's what I want. I guess since red is kind of a dark color by itself, not as dark as blue, of course, but since red is kind of a dark color by itself, it took more of the blue to change it than, say, if we were changing yellow. But it took more of the blue to change it to what I wanted it to be because red itself is a dark color. Huh. That's something to know. All right. Am I satisfied with this? That looks pretty darn good, I think. That's what I think I'm going to use. All right, let's get our trash receptacle and then grab ourselves another Q-tip and let's get dotting. <laughs> Just about done. <laughs> now, that we have finished with the purple we are done with our rainbow. Now, of course, the clouds stay white. We can leave the clouds white. And the optional thing, of course, is going to be the sky. What color do you want your sky to be? Of course, I was thinking maybe a light colored blue. So that's where the white comes in, guys. Not really for the clouds, but for the sky. I can open it. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, okay. 
Of course, we start with the lighter color again, which is, of course, white. And then we add a little drop. Now, do you think it's going to take much blue to change the white? Like, as much blue as it took to change the red. Do you think it'll take that much blue to change this white? You got it. No, it's not. It's so, not. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get just a little bit of the blue. Just not even a whole drop of blue. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? That was so close. It dropped past my Q-tip and landed in the cup. Oh my gosh, that could have messed up my whole painting. <gasps> that was so close. All right, well, let's see what color we get now. Man, I can't believe that. Can you believe that happened? I cannot believe that just happened. Golly. All right, we got ourselves a little blue here going. A little light blue for the sky. A little bit darker. Not much though, so I'm just gonna barely put anything in here. Boom, okay, that's good enough. Let's see what we got now. It's crazy how one little drop can change the color so much. You keep that in mind, guys. Notice how I don't have a full cup of paint at all. I just have a small, small amount of paint, and it doesn't take all that much paint to finish this painting on off. Each stage of this painting only required a small amount of paint. I, I was nowhere near full with any color I used. Okay, I think that's a good enough blue. Now, we can go ahead and dot the sky but I did get something else that I didn't show you in the beginning to kind of help us with that. Kind of speed it up a little bit. Yeah, really large sponges. They come in a pack of 10 and you get three different sizes here. Let me show you. We got a large and a medium and a small a large a medium and a small now these I think will work very well when it comes to doing the sky um, let's go ahead and get the larger of the t three brushes and let's see what we got here oh yeah it fits in there quite well doesn't it and then pow wow look at that make really big dots doesn't it Almost like we're sponge painting now. <laughs> Cause I think we are, it's sponge painting, we're sponge painting. So we can sponge paint our sky. We get really close to the edges, but not all the way. And then we can go back and get in those edges around there with the smaller sponge. But I think this is gonna work out very, very well to finish the sky off really fast. Oh, you know what I noticed? that I'm out of paint already. These sponges, man, they must soak up the paint much more than the Q-tips do because I am just about out of paint. You know, I have to mix that color again. Well, let's see, what did I use? I used white, of course. We used a little white and let's get ourselves the blue again. I think, did we use two drops of blue? I think we used two drops of blue. Let's see, we got, let's go ahead and Shake it down a little bit and see. We got one and we got two. Okay. Now, where is that Q tip? I think we threw it away. Let's get another one. Mix it up. See if we can get that same blue again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep. We got it. We got it. Yes. All right. Let's put this to the side and go back to our sponge again. Boingy, 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 boingy. Boingy, 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 boingy. That was really quick for the sky. Sponges, A-okay with me. All right, now I get the smaller of the sponge and I go through and I can get in those little tight areas that the big sponge couldn't get in get in those little tight areas. And if you have to, you can go with the Q-tip in the little tight areas too. 
And if you think that's going to be better for you, you can go with the Q-tip. I'm just going to go ahead and use the sponge. Okay. I probably got as about as close as I can get in there with these little sponge brushes. If you want to get any closer, you probably want to use the Q-tips now. Try to get in there a little bit closer. Um, if you make a mistake and when you mix the more of the sky color and maybe it's a little too light or a little too dark, that's okay. You can still go back and like say blend it. Blend it all in together, you know. No big deal. Um, Cause I think I made that mistake here while I was working off camera. I started working with the blue that I mixed that was a little bit darker, but no big deal. While the paint was still wet, I went back and I knew this brush had the lighter color on it, or this sponge had the lighter color on it. So I went back and I just started kind of blending it in together. And it makes for a really cool effect in the sky. Anyway, that pretty much it. And then, like I said, with the Q-tip, if you need to, you can get up in the really tight areas right up to your M's on your clouds. Right up to the M's. You can do that with the Q-tip. And then right up to the the color in your rainbow. Okay? So that's it, guys. That is it. You are done. Can you believe it? You are completely finished. Only other thing is I would get a Sharpie marker and go ahead and sign your name right here at the bottom on a cloud, either left or right, doesn't matter which one. That's pretty much it guys. So without further ado, I would like for you to go and have fun.